Hey everyone, it's Celine here and today I'm back with a brand new video in which I'm going to be talking to you guys about feminism as well as gender roles in society. So if you're interested in any, if not both of those ideas, then please continue watching. So for the most part, I've believed in feminism my entire life. Ever since I was a little girl, I thought, you know, women should be treated the same as men. Even if I didn't exactly put it that way, I always thought, you know, I should have the same opportunities that men have in life. And even if I didn't really know what feminism as a word was or what being a feminist was all about until I entered high school, I've always had the idea that, you know, I could do anything I put my mind to and I pretty much have the exact same ideas to this day. So I really, I haven't really changed my mindset as a person in that sense. But over the past few months, I've been so fortunate enough to go to events in New York City, such as celebrating Women's Equality Day at Town Hall, which was so incredibly cool because I got to meet so many girls who had the same ideas and mindsets that I have. And as well as being able to hear from presenters and speakers from women in Congress, from women in organizations that are all about spreading women's equality and raising um, awareness for how we need women's equality globally. Um, honestly, hearing these women talk was so inspiring and uplifting because I absolutely fell in love with how passionate every single person there was. Like, the whole... I've never been to anything that was like an activist program before, so to be able to be in that environment and share for the most part like the sim similar ideas and just constantly receive feedback back and forth was really awesome so i was feeling really like feminist woohoo <laughs> i don't know i felt very i felt very active in the feminist department there <laughs> but yeah um i went to that as well as i'm enrolled in my school's um women's studies his um women's studies class where pretty much we talk about the role of women in history and why it's so imperative to talk about it and um, to really make sure that women are not misrepresented um, in our history textbooks. Because being in that class, we're able to talk about women's equality and things like that. And I'm also currently co-president along with my best friend Jordan of my school's Young Women's Forum, which pretty much is a group where we talk about, again, feminism, women's equality, why we need to raise, equa raise awareness for equality, not just in the US, but globally. And just being like in that class, being president of that club, going to these events. I'm even going to an event tomorrow about feminism in New York City, which is super cool. Um, but you yeah, know, just constantly being in this environment where I'm surrounded by people who love talking about feminism and who have similar mindsets as I do is so so wonderful and I've never had anything like that before and because I've been going to these events I've just been jotting down a bunch of things that people have been saying um, about feminism so some of these ideas that I'm going to be talking about are not necessarily um, exact ideas that I've come up with but things that I've heard my teacher say um, my friends say and um, other important women have said so for the most part like these are this video is just me reflecting on these and I ideas and just trying to educate you guys on what I think we need to fix with society. So as you probably understood from the first few minutes of this video, um, I'm very passionate about feminism. I really do think that it is an idea that everyone should know about and everyone should know what feminism means and everyone should be a feminist because in itself it just means that you believe that women should be treated equally as men are treated and honestly I don't think that there's anything more simple and as more basic as that is. The first step into becoming a feminist is supporting other girls and other women and I cannot stress this enough how important it is to help each other out because all of us girls are going through the same thing and we're going through the same struggle which is being oppressed because of our gender because our gender is limiting us to what we can accomplish and what we want to accomplish and what we dream of accomplishing one day. So if you see a girl, doesn't matter of her race, what she looks like, what she's wearing, none of that is relevant by any means. If you see a girl who's being picked on, for example, by like a group of boys or being called silly names or you're in a conversation and you hear a girl being talked about behind her back, just make the bold move and say, don't do that. That's not cool. Like, why Why are we gossiping about this girl that we don't even know or that we do know? It doesn't matter. We shouldn't be We shouldn't be pitting girls against one another because we're all on the same team here. We're all in the same struggle and we're all in the same fight. So we should stop fighting against one another and start um, helping each other and trying to win this battle of equality. It's so important that if you're with a friend that you call them out if they're saying something negative about another girl or another woman saying oh well you know she's only gonna do so much in life because you know she's probably just gonna be one of those trophy wives find like a really rich husband and so on. Like if you hear someone saying these types of things I feel like you are being a bystander by not saying anything and just nodding your head and going yeah 
Yeah, even if you're not saying anything, because that's what being a bystander is, and in that case, you are only hurting the victim even more. So it's so important to support girls, is what I'm trying to say. Now that we talked about girls supporting other girls, as well as what feminism is and why it is so important to have feminism, I think it's important to talk about gender roles and double standards that society has created for us. And what I want to say about gender roles is something that my teacher has um, been talking to us this week about. And what my teacher has been saying is that really it's our parents that create the gender roles. And what I mean by the fact that it's really our parents setting up these gender roles is that when you think about it, when a woman is pregnant with a child that's yet to be born, when they make the announcement of, oh, if it's a boy or a girl, they tend to associate genders with colors. Like if it's a girl, it goes with pink. If it's a boy, it goes with blue. And I think that first off, that's wrong. You shouldn't associate colors with genders because that's first off sending off an entirely different message saying, you know what? Pink is a more soft color, so that means it should go for girls, and blue is a more like aggressive, it's a strong color, it's a passionate color, so that way you should go for boys. It shouldn't work that way. You shouldn't associate colors with genders, first of all. Second of all, when you think about it, you have colors associated with genders. From then on, we move on to toys. Um, uncles and aunts and moms and dads, when they're in the toy store and they're picking out a toy for this um, newborn um, son or daughter, whatever um, he or she may be, what they look for is toys that are gender specific. So generally they look for dolls for girls and they look for trucks and cars for boys. And by doing that, you're automatically saying, okay, there is a wall between the two. You cannot get a boy toy for a girl. You cannot get a girl toy for a boy. So, and I think, I think that has to be changed completely. I think that toys should be stopped should not be marketed as for genders. Like for example, Legos a few years ago created um, this whole gender specific Lego set. And whenever you saw that, oh, oh, it's meant just for girls, like an uncle or an aunt, when they're picking out a toy for like um, a girl's birthday, they go, oh, well it says for girls. So she has to like that because you know, it's for girls, it makes sense. It has pastels, it has pinks, it has purples. That is meant for girls, not for boys. Okay, I'm sure she'll be happy if I get her this. And when we do that, we're automatically setting them up to be people who are associated with colors and we're associated with certain actions. When you buy a girl a doll and that's all she has are dolls, then you're teaching her that the only thing that's important in life is to nurture and to care for children. And although that is so important for, um, you know, uh, mothers to care for their children, I'm not saying that's not important, of course that is. but. When you teach a girl to aspire to only be a mother and saying that's the most you can be, you can't be an astronaut, you can't be a teacher, you can't be this, you can't be that, you are limiting that girl from a very young age and getting that impression in her young mind when her brain is developing at the fastest rate that it can develop when she's learning a new language, etc. And same thing with boys too, when you buy boys only um, trucks and cars and you don't buy him any um, for example, like action figures or like dolls or anything, you're teaching him that, you know, those are girl toys, were specifically reserved for girls, and that is not appropriate for a young boy to be playing with because you're teaching the boy the wrong message. So instead of just taking him down one aisle made specifically for girls' toys, whatever that may be, you should take the girl or the daughter or, or the boy, whatever he or she may be, and take them around the toy store and pick out what they want for themselves and if the boy wants a doll then go for it if the girl wants a car toy then let her be why are we trying to force children at a young age to be people that they are not or people that they're being forced into even remember mcdonald's even did that they say oh is it when you're picking out the happy meal for example they say oh is it for a girl or is it for a boy and automatically it's like you're given a girl toy and you're given a boy toy if it's a boy or if it's a girl. But what if it's a boy and the boy wants the Barbie doll? And what if it's a girl and the girl wants, you know, the Hot Wheels? That was also something that bothered me as a child because sometimes I would want to get the Hot Wheel because, you know, I didn't want to play with Hello Kitty that week or something. So just things to keep in mind about. I really didn't mean to make this into a huge long spiel, but gender roles need to be eliminated and we need to let children at a young age express who they are without any limitations and without any, um, without people, without parents and other people pushing them to be um, people that they're not. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave your comments down below on what you think about gender roles and what you think about feminism. And I'd be glad to respond um, to any questions or comments you may have. And yeah, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.